As you can see, mechanically, that thing now it's uh, okay. Maybe it's not perfect because of that thing, but it works. Okay. This is slower. This is slower. Right? And this is the extremely slow. From what I realized, this is the best arrangement to keep your machine to be able to test the electronics. Because you have all the access from this side you need. You may access here some components if you want. You can open it further, just like that. But it's very stable. The whole, the whole machine is very stable and you can work on it easily. So I accidentally find, found out why that locks in place but this doesn't so the problem is actually this switch here which is moving it's not very stable but if I if I stabilize it so when I go this way you see this doesn't lock if I lock it so I cannot do this while holding the camera, but if I lock it, then this will lock. As you, can you see here that, that it, it locks, Chuck, and it locks. But that way it doesn't because that whole thing here, you see, it's moving. I don't know why, but I will sort it out later. If that is stable in position and that thing locks it then that that will lock here also okay that's it so before i go on with uh, explaining uh, what i had to do with the head preamplifier i wanted to explain something here on the semantics of the machine so that uh, semantics here was uh, from the service manual of my machine which is uh, Wicher royal deluxe that uh, semantic here was from the machine uh, the Ucher uh, SG561 so although my machine is that the Royal Deluxe the head preamplifier that it had was this one here and I don't know why maybe it was changed uh, somewhere in the past or maybe it was released that way from the factory I have no idea and uh, uh, see what is the difference so the this version has one power line here which divides it in two divides in two power lines one here and one here and each power line has its own capacitor to ground this and this on this machine ground is positive but uh, this is irrelevant so one capacitor here one capacitor here my machine had only one capacitor which is here the other power line here relied on this capacitor here it didn't have its own capacitor uh, there are some other uh, differences also. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, capacitor here is uh, 10 microfarads, but uh, this capacitor here is uh, 22 microfarads, okay? And the other difference is that uh, this I the input capacitor here is 4.7, but here the input capacitor is 5, which is normal because uh, I guess this board here is newer and uh, now you can find 4.7 microfarad capacitor and not 5. Uh, the, the two capacitors for the two separate power lines were on uh, 10 volts like you can see this one is 10 volt this one is 10 volt but this one that is one for both lines it's 16 volts uh, okay if here it's 8.5 but uh, this is 9.5 so it's the same 
it's the same but anyway ah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can you see here this 25 and no this 27 and this 27 resistor here it's one resistor in series which is 15k so uh, the the job of these two resistors here it's done by one resistor this one resistor 15 and uh, after this resistor we got the power lines for both the amplifiers for one channel and the other channel but here each channel had its own resistor this is one channel and this is the other channel okay generally how this uh, preamplifier works it's not uh, very difficult to understand uh, let's see uh, this here is the input capacitor uh, this is an equalizer okay uh, this is the selector for its um, for its the speed okay uh, this is the capacitor for the power line to smooth the power line this is one stage uh, which is uh, the first stage uh, amplification this is the second uh, stage uh, amplification it's right here uh, this is an this is another filter here okay and uh, this is the output capacitor that uh, goes gives the output uh, which is here okay nearly the, the same applies to the other channel and also the same applies to this channel here okay i don't know if i have to show it again uh, input capacitor uh, equalizer for the speed uh, equalizer for the speed also here no no not, not this capacitor this capacitor belongs to one uh, level of amplification which is here and there is another level of amplification okay uh, this uh, this is the capacitor to smooth the the power line and uh, this is the output capacitor and all this stuff belongs to the equalizer this and this belongs to equalizer okay uh, th th this here is uh, the resistor to to modify the output voltage from the the output uh, signal strength from the head amplifier uh, actually uh, I will go to mine, which is here. Okay. Actually, this is this is 10k, and uh, this is 10k also. Okay. So this is in series with uh, one channel, and this is in series with the other channel here. Uh, it's not seen. Okay. This resistor is this here and this here. Those two resistors are in series with the output. And uh, in my machine, uh, the output was low. So I bridged that like that and that like that. I bridged it uh, to bypass this resistor with a small wire. But I, I can take it out anytime. I just wanted to see what would be the result if I could uh, get a little bit uh, higher level output signal from the head preamplifier. And after I did this, I indeed got a higher level signal. And uh, okay, I will. I think I will leave it like that. Okay, that is what I wanted to show about the schem schematics of the head preamplifier. And now I go on with the video. Well, well, let's see what happened. After uh, knowing that there was no sound output from this, I did check first the heads, and I saw that the heads were giving signal. Then I tested the signal from the output of the head preamplifier, which is here. You see those two cables here? These are the two cables for the output of the head preamplifier. So I tried to see if I had signal from there, and I didn't have. So I thought uh, the problem is firstly with this, which is the head preamplifier. I started testing voltages and uh, what I saw is that I don't know if you can see uh, actually my head preamplifier is not uh, like this it's another version but it's very similar to this but getting the main power supply here I couldn't 
see the power supply here and so I, I checked this capacitor which is here there it is and this capacitor was uh, short circuit so the, luckily because of this resistor the whole system would not uh, burn but it would just uh, pull uh, some more amperes but no big deal changing this capacitor I could uh, find signal only from one channel which is this one but this channel would not give me any signal and I saw that the voltage here was not correct and I could think that maybe something was here sorted and I found out that this capacitor here which is that here that one was sorted I replaced this and now let's see we have perfect sound it's coming from here and I have it hooked to my amplifier there so this machine can can function mechanically okay and it also can give me output now that this head preamplifier is fine and working this is the this is the other capacitor of the two let me show you those channels had two capacitors there capacitor was not faulty but I had to replace that one here which was faulty and uh, this capacitor was the other one the power supply capacitor that one here that was giving the problems luckily I had uh, I, I had these capacitors in my collection so I replaced them instantly and now the machine So this machine is uh, ready to play now. I put some uh, VUs uh, there just for the fun of it. And uh, I, I inserted it in my setup here uh, just for a period of time to, to get, get some happiness out of it. So now I will play some uh, Google Free Music.
that's all with this machine. Although I removed the power amplifier from it because it was uh, it was not working and uh, I didn't want to bother fix it. But uh, with an external amplifier like that here, it works perfectly and uh, I consider this a successful uh, repair. Bye bye!